chest as they work from their hip. Now with our straight leg work, it is one of the best ways to get integrated glute and hamstring work in in the same manner and at the same speeds by which they'll have to deal with it at high speed running. Therefore, we think of this not only as a tremendous force production activity, but also a specific exercise that allows the glute and the hamstring to develop the type of strength to make it more resilient to any kind of injury. To start this off, we're gonna teach our straight leg skip. Again, double contact off the ground while we keep a good vertical body posture, giving that snap as the foot strikes the ground. Again, thinking whip from the hip. Okay, nice and strong here, Jair. Feet together, on my go, straight leg skip. And go, beautiful. Nice and tall body, legs are pipe straight, triggers locked the entire time. Some of the major mistakes that we'll see athletes do on any of these straight leg skips are as follows. Number one, they'll get knocked off the back of the horse, as I like to say, meaning they're leaning back, kicking too far forward. Conversely, some athletes will also lean forward and break at the hips. We want to keep that vertical body posture the entire time as if they're trying to wedge into a ceiling or keep a cup of water on top of their head. Jair kept that body posture as we want it. In terms of leg height, they don't need to bring their leg up to 90 degrees. If they can get it up to about a good 45 degrees, that is perfect. Imagine when I'm running, my knee reaches right about 80 degrees of hip flexion. It only is gonna straighten out right around 45 degrees. Therefore, we don't need a can-can kicking all the way to the sky. So Jair's leg position, perfect. We now wanna take it up a notch and go into our shuffle, adding a bit more speed to a single contact. 